All right, well, the PBS Short Film Festival is back to increase the reach of independent filmmakers from across the country. In fact, since 2012, it's featured hundreds of films celebrating love, acceptance, family, strength, equality, friendship, loyalty, and a whole lot more. Wow. And joining us with a sneak peek of this year's films is PBS Director of Audience Engagement, Taryn Stewart. Hello, Taryn. Hi, Taryn. Hello, good afternoon, Lauren and Renee. How are you? Good to see you. We're good. So nice. I am such a huge fan of PBS. Me I have too. every app. I have everything. So tell us about the Short Film Festival. Tell us what it's a part of and tell us how we can watch it. Yes, please. Absolutely. And I'm glad you have the app because that is one of the ways that you can watch all the films in this year's film festival. So we are in year 11 with the PBS Short Film Festival with stories that stick. That's our tagline this year. We feel like we have stories this year that are going to stay with you for much, you know, long after you've um, stopped watching the films after they've ended. Um, we feel like we have a lot of stories that are going to resonate and inspire, you know, reflection. And so this year we have 27 films split up in between five different categories, identity, family, race, humanity, and culture. And so all the films are available for streaming at our at, on our website, pbs.org slash film festival, as well as our PBS YouTube channel, the video app, like I mentioned, and our PBS Short Film Festival Facebook page. All films are available now. All right, and what, I, mean, I was just going to say, what a coincidence, because tonight at midnight, the action starts. So what happens at midnight? So we're actually, so we are going to have all the films live on all of those different platforms that I just mentioned, and they're available for everyone to watch. And so after the run of the film festival, so we're going to run from July 11th through July 22nd, there's going to be a juried prize winner. So all of the films are being watched by a jury of nine people who are watching the films independent of the film festival, but they are going to come together and discuss their favorites and do some deliberation and pick a juried prize winner and so we're going to announce that winner at the end of the film festival so it'll be after july 22nd great and what are the different categories uh that people are voting for on these films so no, so it won't be like a, a, a pure vote. So it'll just be where people are just watching and celebrating. So the jury will decide a jury prize winner and that'll be across all the categories, just one jury prize winner um, for the entire festival. But the categories in this year's festival so that we put categories in there to make sure that the films are easily accessible and they'll, you know, to make sure that people can get to films that may be, um, that they're interested in um, as soon as possible. So having to dig through all 27 without categories, um, we felt like it'd be easier to just divvy them up. So we have identity, family, race, humanity, and culture. So all 27 films have been divided into those categories. Got it. Awesome. Some, yeah, and something I've noticed, uh, especially with this year and with this film festival as a longtime fan, is that there was a concentration, almost definitely a purpose for diversity. And I know in this day and age, that is something we have to embrace and love and, and support and promote because that's the way it should be. But I felt like this year, more than ever, you really were celebrating unity and diversity in, a, in sort of a new way. And I just want to applaud you and your team for, for doing that. I really thank you for that. That is that was very intentional. That's what we wanted to do. Um, you know, I really yes, that was very, you know, that was the way that we we run about it from the beginning, from the screening process to the creative to, you know, everything that we the entire team put into this. So I'm so thankful that you recognize this because we want this to be a celebration. Um, we've had some heavy times and you know, and some of the films are extremely heavy and those films will always be in the film festival but the film festival itself we wanted to focus on the celebratory aspect of yeah. filmmaking mm. and the importance of powerful storytelling so i'm so glad that that's coming uh, through. taryn thank you thank so much you and just so a much. reminder all 27 films are streaming through friday july 22nd and you can find them all on uh, pbs's digital platform